the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video cot theta equals cos theta divided by sin theta let us take this uh, right angle uh, with the three angles as a b and c and uh, angle b is 90 degrees now let us take angle c as the reference angle which is theta and in this case this is uh, 30 degrees now angle a which is the other acute angle is 60 degrees now let the child understand that whenever we use the angle 30 degrees or angle 60 degrees you know the triangle satisfies some special characteristics what is that in the case of uh, the reference angle becoming 30 degrees the opposite side is one unit now the opposite side is one unit the side opposite to the reference angle is always called as the opposite now the base becomes adjacent and then the side ac is hypotenuse as this is 30 degrees the opposite is one unit now what is uh, the relationship of opposite uh, and hypotenuse when the angle is 30 degrees you can measure this so one and two so the hypotenuse becomes two units by using Pythagoras theorem that you know the square formed on the hypotenuse side is equal to the sum of squares of uh, uh, the opposite and adjacent sides you can prove that the adjacent side is square root of 3 how do you get this uh, the hypotenuse side uh, that is 2 square which is equal to the square on the opposite that is 1 square plus the square on the adjacent uh, we don't know that value you call that as x square so x square becomes uh, 2 square that is 4 minus 1 square that is 1 that is 3 so x becomes square root of 3 you know from time to time you can remind the child about the calculation so that the child is not going to simply memorize the child will understand how to find out these uh, values now we have to find out uh, the cot theta now cot theta is nothing but uh, the adjacent by opposite so we will follow two methods one is let us use the sides and second let us use the values in both cases we will get the cos theta by sin theta let us take the sides first now here in the triangle ABC so what is cot theta cot theta is nothing but uh, the adjacent uh, by opposite so what is the adjacent uh, that is bc what is the opposite uh, that is ab now you can notice that there is one side hypotenuse is not involved now why don't we involve hypotenuse and rewrite this uh, value so how that can be written so we can write as bc divided by ac and uh, in order to compensate what we have to do we have to multiply it by AC divided by AB so that means the AC and AC will cancel out we still get the BC by AB now apply the value for BC by AC what is BC BC is your adjacent what is AC AC is the hypotenuse what is uh, the adjacent by hypotenuse that is uh, 
cos theta. Now, what is AC by AB? AC is hypotenuse. Now, AB is the opposite. So, hypotenuse by opposite is cosecant theta. Cosecant theta. Now, what is sin theta? Sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse. So, that is AB by AC. So, what is cosecant theta here? It is AC by AB. The cosecant theta is nothing but 1 by sin theta. So, what happens if we just rewrite the equation? So, what happens? It is cos theta multiplied by cosecant theta is replaced by 1 by sin theta. So, that becomes cos theta by sin theta. Cos theta by sin theta. So, the cotangent theta equals cos theta by sin theta. Now, we have used the sides to get this value. Now, we can use the trigonometric ratio too. You know, there are different methods that can be followed to prove this. Uh, uh, the child may be oriented to all different types. Uh, now, uh, as these are very much tactile in nature, the child will be able to get real experience. So that is why don't simply ask the child to memorize these things, uh, these tactile triangles and uh, the tactile markings will always help the visually impaired child. Now, let us take uh, the value of uh, 30 degrees. Now, let us uh, uh, try to substitute the values for cos theta by sin theta. Now, what is cos theta? Cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. So here, what is adjacent? It is square root of 3 by 2. That is 2. Right? Uh, now, we have identified the value for cos theta. Now, this is cos theta by sin theta. We have to find out cos theta by sin theta. So, square root of 3 by 2, that becomes the numerator. And then the denominator is the value of sin theta. So, what is sin theta? It is opposite by hypotenuse. It is opposite by hypotenuse. What is opposite? That is one unit. What is hypotenuse? That is two units. So, the denominator will become 1 by 2. So, here we have a fraction where the numerator is square root of 3 by 2 and the denominator is 1 by 2. So, how it can be written? It is square root of 3 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 1. So, when you divide a fraction, you have to interchange the positions and then multiply, right? So, what happens? The 2 and 2 will cancel out. Uh, so, that becomes uh, square root of 3 by 1. That is nothing but square root of 3. So, what you have got now? You have got the value of cos theta by sin theta cos theta by sin theta. Now, find out what is cot theta for 30 degrees. What is cot theta? Cot theta is nothing but the adjacent by opposite. So, in the case of 30 degrees, that is cot 30 degrees is adjacent by opposite. So, cot 30 degrees equals Adjacent. What is adjacent? Uh, square root of 3. What is opposite? Uh, it is 1. So, what is the value? It is square root of 3. So, cot 30 degrees is square root of 3. 
cos 30 degrees by sin 30 degrees e square root of 3. We have proved that cot theta equals cos theta by sin theta. So to recap, you can use different methods. You can use the sides of the right angle triangle to prove this and you can use uh, the trigonometric ratios of specific angles particularly when you have 30 degrees 60 degrees 45 degrees etc you can use the trigonometric ratios also to prove this